guys, so today I am coming to you with a Q&A video. Some people might hate Q&A videos and think they are so boring. Some people might really love them, so, you know, shout out to you guys. Like I normally do when I have Q&A videos, I tweeted, it was like a few days ago though, and I really don't have too many followers on my Twitter, YouTube Twitter, just because I don't really update it that much. So I also posted a short video asking you guys to comment your questions because that also like reaches a more broad spectrum of you guys. So yes, I have chosen some of those and I'm going to get right into them. First question, how do you feel about me with glasses? Because I really wish I had glasses and these are fake glasses because I don't need glasses. Um, they were sitting right here and I thought I'd ask your opinion because I really enjoy glasses. And I want to wear them but I feel like people will know they're fake. So, yeah, let me know. Emmy Green asked, what is your favorite thing about fall? So I'm going to be super basic right here. And I'm going to say scarves, leggings, boots. Mostly boots. If I had to choose one of those things, it would be boots. And then pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks. Amy, Hannah, and like 50 trillion other people ask me if I have a boyfriend yet. No, I don't. I have had bad experiences with boys lately. I'm sick of boys. I don't even want to think about boys. Boys are assholes. If you're going to unsubscribe because I swore, sorry, I just hate boys right now. And I'm forever alone. Emma Banashak, I'm hoping that's how I pronounce it, asked, holy grail hair product? So today I actually straightened my hair, but I haven't straightened my hair in so long. I have actually been wearing it like natural lately. I just kind of get out of the shower and scrunch it up with this product. It is the Aussie Sprunch Mousse, and this stuff is great. It gets rid of all of my frizz, and I do have a natural wave to my hair, so I don't really know if this gives wave, but it does kind of um, enhance my waves, and I use this a lot. I only use this with like one other product. Sometimes I don't even use the other product, and this gets rid of like all of my frizz, and I have pretty frizzy hair when I just like let it air dry or whatnot. So this is what it looks like. It's ew, my nails are disgusting. Sorry cash register probs. Um, anyways, this stuff is probably like two or three dollars and it's great and it lasts forever and I lost the cap on mine but I would definitely recommend this if you like you know wearing your hair natural or you want to try or even if you just want your hair soft or to smell good because this does both of the things. Kayla Rivera asked, how do you get a boy to like you? First thing you gotta do is flash him one of these faces. Trust me, he will not be able to stay away. Okay, two different people asked me how many miles I run in a week. To be perfectly honest, right about now it's zero. Um, I go to school, I come home, most of the times I go to work, then come home, do my homework, and then sleep. And then repeat. So running really isn't in there. I should probably get on that. Sarah Webb asked, are you planning on going blonder or darker this fall? P.S. I love your videos. So, thank you. Um, and I am probably just... Whoa. That was weird. <sighs> probably. I'm probably just going to keep it the color it is. This is actually my natural color, basically. Um, I have gone through weird hair phases, you guys might know. Um, I was dark... I was, I'm was. i naturally dirty blonde. Like, so... Um, I was really dark brown. I was, like, light brown. I was highlighted. I'm I'm still like highlighted but um, this is my natural hair color like right under here and I just get some highlights on the top and yeah that's what I think I'm gonna be doing for a while just because I like it. I feel like it just looks the best on me. Looking back I hate how I looked with brown hair. I absolutely hate it. I don't know how I liked it at the time so um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be going dark again. What's up? I like bows asked what do you prefer, McDonald's or Burger King? Okay, back in the day, it used to be Burger King, but now I have moved on. I have discovered the McChicken and the Mocha Frappe from McDonald's, therefore McDonald's. Abby Music asks, do you have a celebrity girl crush? Yes, I do. I've talked about this in lots of videos. Kendall Jenner, definitely. And then I have a ton of girl crushes that, like, actually, I actually know, which is kind of weird. I'm obviously not going to say their names, but I feel like I have more girl crushes on people that I actually know instead of celebrities. Is that weird? Do you guys have that? I swear I'm straight, but, I mean... Um, under... or at underscore... O-H-O-K underscore, so... Okay, I'm guessing. Oh, okay. 
I don't know, asked, Ugh, I doubt you will answer, but what are your pet peeves? Okay, I have so many pet peeves. I'm just, I'm a pet peevey person. I don't, you know. And I'm also touching my hair a lot. Sorry. Um, I'm just going to say the pet peeves of the moment because if I had to talk about my pet peeves, I think we'd be here forever. Okay, my number one pet peeve right now is people that use you for homework answers. I work pretty hard in school. Like, I get high 90s and I try really hard and I put forth all my effort and I always do all my homework and I study and all that stuff. And then there's the people that don't do anything and then they expect like they can just mooch off other people who do do their work and get good grades. Like, no. We did not talk all summer. You made no effort to talk to me. So don't text me at like 10 at night and be like, Hey girl, love ya. Send me a pic of English homework. No, don't do that. Like, do it yourself. I'm not giving you my stuff. It would be one thing if you most of the time did your homework or we were friends. But no, we're not friends. We haven't talked in like 10 years. Just, just don't. Pet peeve at the moment is liars. Liars are always pet peeves. But lately, people have been lying here and there, and it pisses me off. Just, liars are disgusting. You're disgusting. No one can trust you. You're sketchy. <sighs> I hate liars. So sorry that kind of ended up ending on a rant. Um, I've just, <laughs> things have happened lately that just, ugh, they really irk me. I put the glasses back on, by the way. But, yes, I think that's all I have to say. I want to ask you guys, how do you guys like iOS 7? That is all I've been seeing all over my feed and stuff, and I finally got it. And I actually personally really like it. I think it's, I think it's a good stuff. And I like the pink background I got. Pink background. Can you guys see it? Yeah, it's cute. I still have the 4S, and I'm thinking of getting the 5. I have Virgin Mobile, which people make fun of me all the time, but it's cheaper. Virgin Mobile is so cheap, and they have iPhones... They have iPhone 4S, which I have, and now they have the 5, and I mean, I'm not all about getting the newest iPhone, but I've had this one for so long, and my dad kind of wants it, so I'm thinking of getting the 5, but it's like over $500 for Virgin Mobile, because it's not, like, no contract or something, so I don't know if it's going to be worth the splurge. Are the 5s, should I get the 5? I don't know. Let me know if you guys like your 5s. I really want a black iPhone instead, um... So I'm kind of debating. By the way, this case is from Paxson Online. Ooh, one more quick question. The sides are so dirty because it's white rubber. How do I clean this? I tried like, I tried alcohol, like rubbing alcohol. I tried soap and water and it just keeps getting dirtier and dirtier. So if you know how to clean this, let me know. But that's all I have to say. Sorry I was rambling at the end. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment down below because I read all of your comments. I promise you guys, and yes, new videos will be coming soon. I'm going to try and do some more. You can leave video requests down there too, so yes. Love you guys, bye. <laughs>